What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another custom handmade tufted rug. Today, we're working on a portrait of Bob Marley that was a custom commission from a client of mine. And it also has two icons in the top of the portrait. Very tiny, but very detailed. Let's get to it. So I've already got in most of the uh, dominant shading and I'm going after these colors. We're starting with red, which is the darkest color, the darkest shade on the gradient of the face. And we're working our way lighter. Now, when I'm working these really small spaces, I'm trying to maintain as much detail as possible. And I'm trying to nail the portrait as accurately as I can. So my gun speed is really, really slow and my movement is also very controlled. Instead of working on the actual line itself, I'm working on the inside of the shape. So on the inside of that line, so that it allows me to get as much detail in as possible and not over trace a barrier of a shape. So we're just hugging the outside of that line. Now we're on to the gluing part. Here you're watching me put Robert's 3095 carpet adhesive onto the rug. Now this stuff is really sticky and it takes about 24 to 48 hours to dry. So we're gonna apply a really nice coat around the entire piece, making sure that we're not putting too much carpet adhesive on the external part of the rug because you don't want it to go through that canvas fabric. If it goes through that canvas fabric, then it's gonna attach itself to the actual fluffy part of the rug. So as you can see right here, we're hugging those corners as tightly as possible. <clears throat> now we're on to hot gluing. So this is called waterfalling the edge. What we're doing is we're really just pulling over that excess canvas so that there's a clean and flush edge across the entire border of the rug. And we're adding our spray adhesive. So the rug carpet adhesive is already dried and we're adding that spray adhesive so we can attach our felt backing or whatever material you use. And then we're gonna use that can to kind of just iron out any excess creases or fabric. We want it to lay real flat. Once the backing's on, we're going over to the shearing and carpet planing. And this is a power tool. It's super powerful as you can imagine. And you gotta honestly know what you're doing before you use it or else you might damage your piece. How do you guys like this? What do you think? Drop a like in the comments. Drop a comment in the comments on how you feel. Would you hang this in your house? Is this, would this be a piece that you would like to see hanging? I know my client was really satisfied with this, so I'm stoked. If you wanna see more, make sure you drop a like, comment, and subscribe. 